Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's go. So today it's going to be a um, oracle four card you pick, uh, and then with a dyadic cross for each of those four uh, oracles. So you'll pick one, two, three, or four, and then uh, then we'll drill down on each one of those. How's that sound? We'll get that done. Perfect. Okay, so today we're going to do a, a four card oracle you pick, one, two, three, or four, and then um, we'll do a dyadic cross on each one. I'm going to do it all with one deck. This uh, I just got these brand new uh, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. This is another uh, product of uh, Los Scarabino, and I think they must just have, you know, uh, staff artists that they say, you know, let's come up with an idea and let's create some cards. Because they, from Los Scarabino, quite often it's not uh, uh, a specific uh, artist. Although, now let's see, this is Julia F. Massaglia. Masaglia? I don't know. So maybe a, an Italian speaking person out there uh, knows better how to pronounce that name, Massaglia. So, so, okay, there I was. I didn't give credit to Julia, and I'm sure uh, she would appreciate that. Julia Massaglia. I'm going to say. But anyway, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. really like the look of these cards. They're, well, the backs are, are, are cool, as you can see. But the uh, front of the cards are kind of gold foily, and they're kind of a, a different hit on the Rider uh, weight uh, Tarot. Man, did you hear that? The motorcycle go by? But um, so anyway, give you something new to look at and me something new to play with. And uh, they're kind of longish cards this way. And uh, but I really like the message they have in here, and they, they're really uh, thoughtful and uh, fun. Uh, like I said, they're just artful, good to look at. Art Nouveau. So, we're going to do the Oracle uh, four card you pick, and so I'll lay out uh, four of those. Obviously, you'll choose one, two, three, or four, and uh, life will be good for everybody in that respect. I'm making a big mess of this because I'm trying to watch what's going on on my computer screen while I'm doing this, and I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. So we'll give these a little mix up this way and then we'll do a um, shuffle or two. Four card oracles for the viewers. Four cards for the viewers. For those folks watching right now, what is the message? Four cards. Okay. Oh, we'll take these and shuffle them up a little bit. These are uh, just typical uh, playing card uh, surface is what these are. They don't feel any different from, uh, you know, those poker cards that you've got shoved up in the kitchen cabinet. Um, except that they're bigger, you know, they're taller. It feels like they're taller than normal. I'm so not used to handling regular playing cards anymore that I don't know if I really have a true frame of reference in my head for what regular playing cards feel like. But um, anyway, we'll give these a cut, and we'll spread them out, and we'll get four cards for the first part of this. Okay, so we're going to take from here, number one, number two, three, there we go, that's easy enough. Let's see what we've got for this. So we got one two three and four one two three four one two three and four you can always stop the video one two three four one two three four okay so the signifier for this first one then is going to be uh, for number one if that's what you chose we've got the four pinnacles this is a typical four pinnacles beautiful uh, artwork on this card and uh, julia good work and, um, but uh, this is, you know, holding on to uh, what you've got. It can be actually be money that you're worried about. It could be anything of value that's, uh, that's uh, haunting the back of your mind right now, or maybe right out front. But yeah, so really holding on to that. It could be information even, really. It's, uh, but whatever's of value to, to you right now, this is the card for holding on. And if, um, if, if this was a yes or no card, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I would guess, I would say this is a no card. This tells me just to stop and uh, don't do anything and uh, and stay with what you're at. So that would be a no card. But 
we, we could flesh this out a little bit more. So he's got his feet on these pentacles. He's really grasped onto this. There's one that's uh, affixed right to his head, which is the most vulnerable. But uh, I would say that's a, a no card. If you chose number two uh, today, okay, this card is the six of wands. And the six, the six of wands is always celebration. So these wands are up here. We've got the laurel reef blowing back in the wind with a nice victorious red ribbon. Uh, this uh, person is really well um, uh, protected uh, with this beautiful signature red, uh, let's get moving, go forward, be a piece of fire uh, kind of garb going on here. Beautiful steed facing right into it. And look, at, I hope you can see the gold foil uh, in there without it being a, a problem, but it really looks nice in person. So if you got this card, this is a strong, solid yes, 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 and yes. Okay. But then we're going to go down, drill down further on this to see if we can go uh, see what more is involved. Now, if you chose number three, okay, the number three card then is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is, uh, and this is also a beautiful card, by the way, really nice uh, depictions on here. But this is, what it reminds, always reminds me of um, a government doling out money to uh, the citizens. Um, I don't know why. Uh, well, I guess that is the, this is like a Roman uh, tax collector or whomever he might be. But yeah, so the Six of, of uh, Pentacles is always, uh, you know, distributing out what the worth is and deciding who gets what and uh, being in charge of all that. And uh, for me, this is a yes card. Uh, this is movement forward. This is getting something done uh, in a thoughtful way. So, yep, that's a yes card. Now, if you chose number four, the last card here, then you got the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is wands are motion, action, fi fire, power, getting it done. This fellow has gotten it done. He looks a little, uh, a little, not much worse for the wear, actually, but he's totally in charge of all these actions that have come up in front of him. So the Seven of Wands uh, tells me that, uh, yeah, you can get this done. I don't know that it's going to be easy for you, but um, yeah, this is something that you can accomplish. So, but let's go uh, drill down further on all of those uh, with a dyadic cross for each one. And these will be the signifiers for that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with this one. So for this Four of Pentacles, this four pinnacles. What more do we have to say? What other messages are in this uh, in this message for today? Four pinnacles is a signifier for all the folks who are watching, all you nice regular folks. If you haven't subscribed, why the heck haven't you? I'm working my butt off over here. So these four pinnacles. Let's see what we've got for you. I need five more. One, two. Three, four, and that's five. Okay. Let's flush out this with a dyadic cross, which is really just the first part of a Celtic cross. And um, starting with the four pinnacles as a signifier, what's the challenge to holding on to uh, this uh, value, wealth, information, this important um, um, uh, presence that you have? What is it, What is the challenge to that? The challenge to that is uh, the Six of Swords moving on, um, usually moving out of troubled waters. And if you're feeling like you've really got to hold on to this, then you're not in your most comfortable uh, uh, place. As a matter of fact, this person is outside of, of, the, uh, of the village, uh, rather exposed. So, yeah, so moving out of troubled waters uh, for this instance makes sense. And, and what does that uh, mean for you? You know, um, this situation, though, has got someone who's well uh, able to get this move forward, uh, everyone who's involved is going to be uh, taken care of on this on this journey, and everything you need to uh, protect yourself, to reveal the truth, to um, to accomplish some sort of a healing process in this in this forward motion is uh, is there. Uh, it is, but it's the challenge to holding on. I mean, you have to move forward. You don't want to, but you've got to look out and find out where's that window of opportunity. The uh, base of this reading then. Look at that, is the chariot, which is the chariot is actually, you know, getting yourself coordinated and moving things on. It really, usually in a rapid way or in a decisive way. So that's, um, wow, that's the basis of this reading. Uh, let's get this thing moving uh, and going. So sometimes we're so stuck uh, in a comfort place, um, it's hard to do. The past of this reading, though, is the, um, the emperor. My goodness. So, 
this film is telling us that we have to get this moving. We have to make this happen. We have rules that we have to abide by. And this is going to occur in exactly the correct order that it's supposed to. So that's what the past is here. A lot of structure, a lot of rules, uh, a lot of direction, and, uh, and unstoppable, really. So and it's, so we've really uh, had something here to make us, you know, we always want to oppose just like a stubborn mule. If someone wants to drag you that mule forward, it digs in its heels a little deeper. And uh, this is a strong uh, force uh, trying to move this thing forward. Uh, in the sky for this is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords really uh, just tells you that she's got uh, what she needs uh, to uh, get this accomplished. Is this the Queen of Swords or is this Justice? You know, this is justice, as a matter of fact. So we've got justice here telling us, yeah, you know, th this can be achieved, and that's what you want to aim for. Go for the the best uh, the best way to get this done. Okay, so in the uh, the likely outcome for this then is the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is um, you know compassionate king. Uh, he's usually caught up in a turmoil of some sort of emotion, but absolutely in charge of the situation and a great big cup of passion to spread around. And um, so the likely outcome of this is probably going to be uh, an emotional one uh, for, for probably you and uh, because of the uh, hesitancy you have. But uh, yeah, um, you, can, you can do this. Okay, now we're going to put those aside and continue on with uh, number two. If number two is what you picked, remember that was a six of wands, and the six of wands is going to be the signifier. In this uh, read, we're going to shuffle these up and see what we can find out in the Six of Wands. What's going on with that Six of Wands? I'm going to need five cards again. So that's one. We find that two, three, four. Okay, so the signifier is the Six of Wands. That's victories. Um, unmistakable. Yes, victories. And now the challenge to that, however, is a big cup of compassion and emotion. It's a big offer of, of, of something uh, that actually just moves you. Uh, it could be, could be a, 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 a peace offering, a reconciliation. Uh, so I would say... Sometimes when we feel we've won a big victory and we want to move on, um, the, the fact that we have won it makes it feel like, well, maybe we should stick behind and, um, and uh, bask in that for a while. Or, or, so that, that's the challenge to this. The victory has given you such a gift that uh, you, you may not want to move on from that. The base of this reading is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is, tells us, yeah, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is moving around, and this is a fortuitous time uh, for you in this regard, whatever this problem is that you have. So I would say take advantage of the Wheel of Fortune and get a move on. In the past of this reading is, wow, another big offer, the Ace of Coins. So, you know, this is value. This is real worth. This is true knowledge, and this is being offered up. And if it's being offered up, that well, actually it's been offered up. And um, it looks like you were smart enough to take advantage of it. So you need to bask in the glory of all of that. But remember that your wheel is moving around. And, you know, you have a nice uh, three quarters of the wheel is uh, positive. Uh, well, more than half is positive. But you've got a, a part here where when you get into that is when the difficulties can. So you've got to take the, the wins when you've got them. In the sky for this reading is the uh, three of wands. Again, telling you long term plans, you know. Think about it now, get ready to make a move, get ready to, to get it done, whatever it is. Really think it out. Try to understand wh how it's going to affect uh, everything. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. And uh, in this big yes uh, uh, card. And then the uh, likely outcome of all of this <laughs> is the sun, you know. And so bright uh, uh, day, uh, great finish, um, you know, victory. Um, everything looks good around this decision. Just uh, get a move on and take advantage of it because everything has a cycle. So that's number two. Number three, then, 
is going to be the Six of Pentacles, uh, kind of distributing the wealth, uh, making a decision about how this uh, value uh, that you're dealing with is going to go around. So, again, just a few shuffles here for this, for this card. Six of Pentacles is a signifier. Nice card to pick, by the way. So we'll go from the reverse and take one. We'll take two. We'll go three. Let's have four. And then five. Okay. Five cards. Signifiers of Six of Pentacles. Distribution of wealth or knowledge or whatever is value to you. Wow. And the challenge of it is just, you know, the jackpot. Generational wealth. And, you know, this, you know, if it's, it's pinnacles and it's pinnacles again. And so I've got to say, this probably does talk about money. Um, maybe it doesn't because it's whatever is of value uh, to, to you, but uh, it's strong. You know, the challenge of this is, is, I guess, I hate to say it, but it looks like having too much. Maybe having too much to distribute properly. We'll see. The basis of this, of this reading then is the uh, Two of Cups, which is, uh, you know, partnerships, uh, putting our heads together. Let's make a deal. And uh, let's get this done and let's be happy about uh, the outcome that we've got going on here. So that's the basis of this. So that's how um, this should be uh, handled to begin with. Let's do it in a, in, a, in a harmonious way. In the past of this is the Seven of Swords. You know, in the Seven of... Wow, look at the face on this guy. The Seven of Swords uh, speaks to us of having to deal with something that, that was mischievous, that was uh, uh, ill-gotten gains. Huh, interesting I would say that. And that was, and that was a, a problem. So that was the past. Um, I don't know if these real gotten gains, but whatever this challenge was, it was a thieving uh, feeling. Uh, someone uh, maybe stole an idea, stole some money, uh, stole a heart. Who knows what they stole? But uh, it was a painful uh, situation. Hope it wasn't you. Okay, so the, in the sky for this is the star. And the star just uh, tells us that, you know, that's what we can aim for in this situation. It's the best. It's perfectly balanced. It's, it's uh, beautiful for the world to see. And it's uh, very satisfied with its presence. Uh, so I would say that the sky is a star. That's all good. All good stuff right there. The you know, likely outcome of this then is the page of coin, which is, uh, like I said, get a move on. Get this idea going. Let's uh, uh, move it in the right direction. So, yeah, let's get this um, this uh, information moved and distributed it where it needs to be. And, uh, and um, I think everything will be great. The final card, if that's what you chose, number four, is the Seven of, of um, Wands. And the Seven of Wands is, you know, kind of fending off uh, a few uh, obstacles in a very successful way. Uh, but, I mean, you have to notice that this fellow is at the cliff's edge. And uh, so as long as you can keep those things fended off, then you're fine. And you're going to have to make some progress forward. So the challenge for this, then, let's give this a couple of shuffles. This will be interesting. I like uh, this one. seems like it can have a very interesting outcome. Okay, we're going to take five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting. Okay. Okay, the challenge with the Seven of Wands, um, really holding your ground, is, um, huh, that's beautiful. So the Ten of Cups, you know, happy family. Um, the challenge of holding your ground is happy family. Um a perfect situation. So sometimes uh, it could be that whatever this is maybe is too good uh, to last. The basis of this reading uh, then oof, is the Eight of Swords really feeling trapped uh, in this uh, situation. You're not because this person can move on. They can see out from under that blindfold. The, the, the bindings are, are not that tight and there's a pathway out with caution. So, and the dress isn't pinned down by any of these swords. So, yeah, uh, the basis of this is feeling trapped. There's a big difference in being trapped and feeling trapped. Oh, wow. In the past was the three of swords. Was, uh, it's like broken heart, disillusionment, um, failed promises. Uh, I don't know if they were your failed promises or, or promises you failed to make or that were failed to be made to you. But um, it doesn't matter because that colored this, this, this stand right here. In the sky is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is with cooperation. You know, putting this together, making it something uh, that can be shared with the world or that can be looked upon by everyone 
and and thought uh, that this was a good piece of work. So you have to cooperate with people who know uh, what to do in the situation. Um, that's always the best idea. And then uh, and the likely outcome for that is the um, Queen of Cups. And so the Queen of Cups is, um, you know, really in charge of the passions and the emotions. And she's sitting on a, a red uh, tuft here, which tells you that this woman can get this thing moving if she needs to. So, yeah, I would say that um, that this needs to get moving forward and um, because you can't stay stuck in that position. And uh, find uh, what you need to help you get that moving forward. Okay. Okay, so that is the four card you pick Oracle for today. Okay, so that was the uh, four card Oracle today. I hope something uh, good came out of that for you. Um, the difficult questions we got to in that, and I thought uh, there were interesting uh, answers, and I really liked the cards that I got, so that was great. Well, my name is Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. Coming back tomorrow. I'll be here. Ciao for now.